Hey everybody, this is Shades Man in the house, and today we're going to go through some levels I've been modifying. You can recognize this as the Necropolis. I'm just going to go punchy punchy that guy. So notice I did some, what I feel are interesting changes. I'm going to try to get him to infight. If I could just get the splash damage and hit him. They actually infight quite a bit, but this guy doesn't want to move from this little area there for some stupid ass reason. Oh, maybe this time. Well, I'm not gonna have any luck. But you can get him to infight quite often, actually. Notice I'm using uh, Doom Textures with Transparency to enhance how this is, kind of. I'm actually going to cheat a little bit because... You're supposed to have the hard by now. Give... Four. Make sure I don't press the R button to end my recording. And notice how I added did some changes to this whole area here. Which I think is enhanced without, without strength too far from the original, you know? And that's why I wanted the uh, bar so bad. I might have to rebalance it so because the Baron, he's a great shambler replacement, but he's a bit tough. Though. So notice how I added that roof there. I eliminated the wood beams for those, and I think it's just overall better. I'm actually going to cheat here. Because I didn't do much else with this map, believe it or not. It's actually not that big of a level. I changed I just changed the lighting in here, added a few uh, encounters. You can't even jump up there yet. I didn't add a mantle, but it's gonna change the whole process, so I'm considering what I should do there. What I'm probably going to do is just add more surprises here, you know? Like maybe change the concept in this area. You can tell that I didn't modify the lighting here at all. You can mantle up there, but it's too tall. Notice I eliminated the little steps, but I'm still going to make it take advantage of the mantle. I just got to finalize this area real quick. So everything else in the map so far is the same. I'm just going to no-clip again. The only thing I did out here is eliminate excess lights and use the uh, sunlight as the light. I didn't change all this yet. So yeah, the level pretty much stays true to the original. I just added a few more things here. You can mantle back up uh, this. So obviously I added that, but there's some errors I didn't add yet. You got to use your uh, slope jump to do that. So yeah, I think this is an improvement overall. The other thing is, another Quake map and then a Heretic map. So yeah, notice with this one, I've been working on this a little bit more. When does that make kind of sort of sense? Again, I'm going with the philosophy of I don't want to change the map too much, but I want to change it enough to make it interesting, because there's remakes of these maps already, you know? Just make nicer looking arches where it's applicable. Mantle up here. Doesn't help much in the contrast thing anymore. I'm going to make this interesting. See, you can't break that. I want to make it so anytime you encounter glass in the Quake map, can break, you can go inside. So what I would have to do, I'd have to lower the roof, because right now, you wouldn't, it'd be kind of like a tight space with a slope. Just lower the roof like this, boom. Add a whole like outdoor area with like maybe some cliff, just a little bit of cliffs out here, and then the top of the roof. It'd just be interesting, you know? It can be done. 
But again, stay true to the original. Don't change it too much. There's already remakes out there, as I said with the other map. Last, but definitely not least, I'm going to show you guys this map. I'm hoping it was FCG Craig or whatever his name is. Wow. I've been working on the lighting, the texture alignment. Not done, I gotta make that four instead of three. Because one, two repeats thrice. But it's too stretchy still. On his side, he already modified gameplay to have a Korax type face pop up. Oh, that wasn't so bad. You can mantle up places now. Including here. Which is fine, because I'll have this closed and you can open it from the other side. Won't break the map in it, Eddie. Notice my key markers. I'm using the yellow key for yellow. There's no green key in Doom. And there's not even a red key in Quake, so red is just a locked door. I didn't put the door yet. So it'll be kind of like a faux key. That replaces all green heretic keys. And, of course, blue. Misc model is your friend. I'm using the podium, and I'm using the uh, berserk item as a model. Because that doubles over his time freeze and haste with different skins. So those are the three skins I use for my key marker. Silver becomes blue, obviously, with a blue light around it. I'll add a Funk Illusionary here. Add a nice breakable secret. i got to re-add the combat. I took it away when I did this, but... He's using too many lost souls, in my opinion. They're not meant to be used that much, even the non explodey types. So the imps are better gargoyle substitutes with a few lost souls mixed into good measure, in my opinion. Those guys are totally undead warriors. What's this? A breakable wall. This is clearly like a blue door. I didn't, unfortunately, put that down correctly. I'll fix that. I gotta make that less full bright by going to the editor and Photoshop darkening and then converting the darker to Quake. I'm gonna, I still gotta add all the torches in this map. Now, uh, since I have the key markers, I can use green and yellow torches freely without having to worry. But what trend should I use? I think this map will be suitable for yellow torches, honestly. But I like some consistency in my maps. Well, like this, how this texture changes. That's not consistent. <laughs> so as you do a circle around there. I actually forgot how... So I get the yellow key from coming down the steps. I would get the green... See, this is the part I always forget. Oh, yeah, the green key is, uh... I don't know. The green key is in here, that's right. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Which would be the red key, which would be, uh... Which would just say... Yeah, that's right, it would disable this door. I go in here... I changed this room around because to reflect the fact that all these are really square rooms and anything angled is a funk detail. So this doesn't jut into where the other room would be. The light show off like the original. Then to exit the map, you go back through the yellow door. I think the lighting here is pretty good. It's still at torches though, it doesn't have to be too dark. And the piece of geometry I eliminated was that. Because it's just a big stairway going down. I'm going to make something more interesting than that. And of course, the whole secret area that hugs the outside of this area from the other place. Because that was kind of bland in the original. But otherwise, all the geometry is here and it's nice and cleaned up. So i got to work with Craig. And put combine his gameplay changes with this map, this geometry, and just have one consistent map. And yeah, that's it. I'm working on my classic campaign as well. What the heck? 
I don't press the R button. EP 3M1. I'll run through it fast. Boom. I don't want to. I really don't want to spoil too much of this stuff. I'll show you the very beginning. And lo and behold, it's actually a conversion of a heritage map as well. But I didn't use any reference, I just did it from scratch. It's more freeform. It's not supposed to be the heritage map. It's not the storehouse, it's the star port. Oh, look at that. So this is another heretic map, but this time, Doom style. Well, Doom 2 style specifically. I did trigger them. Because the imps actually aren't in this room by default. Instead of going the way the, the heretic map was, I made a UNM1, a map 01 homage. I'm gonna actually let myself get eaten by these cacti because I really don't want to spoil the rest of this map for the next map and so on and so forth. But yeah, this is the third episode of my classic campaign coming up. So a lot of good stuff coming, folks. I think this song might be a bit loud compared to my other uh, MIDI files I'm using because I got this from somebody else. It just plays louder. I couldn't even get it from online because it got corrupted from the stupid reason. Whatever. I'll fix it before the release. Alter the volume. This is the Shades Man signing off. Peace.